Hello everyone, it's Matt and welcome to Collaboration Coach. In this video, I've got three tips for you to help you host great meetings. And they are raising your hand, managing meeting options and attendance reports. Before we get started, we're posting twice a week at the moment. So if you don't want to miss anything, hit subscribe and press the bell so you get notified when we add new videos. All right, here we go. So first of all, raise your hand. This feature allows you to show the organizer of the meeting that you want to speak. Of course, in most meetings, speaking is encouraged, but you may have joined as an attendee and your mic may have been muted. Or you may just be super polite and you don't want to interrupt a presenter when they are in full flow. So in this meeting, Megan is a presenter and Matt is an attendee and Matt wants to make a point. So he moves his mouse over the meeting window and a hand icon labeled raise your hand is there in the meeting toolbar. So he can press on the hand icon to show Megan that he wants to speak or interrupt. And Megan will be alerted to this in a number of different ways. So she'll see the hand icon in Matt's video or photo on the meeting stage. And she'll also see activity on the show participants button on the meeting toolbar. You can see that little red dot there. And if she clicks on that and opens up the people pane on the right hand side, she'll also see the hand icon next to Matt's name in the list of people in the meeting. So now Megan can unmute Matt at a good time or just ask him to talk if he's not muted. And she can also lower his hand anytime she likes as well. And also Matt can lower his hand by just pressing on the same button. Next, we have manage meeting options. So until now, you can only make these changes to a scheduled meeting before it started and there was no easy way to access the settings while the meeting was taking place. So if you chose meet now or turned a chat into a meeting, then these settings weren't available at all. But now you can access the settings during the meeting. You just go to the meeting toolbar and choose show participants. Then that opens up the people pane on the right hand side. Then you press the tick and the cross button in the top right hand corner. That will open up a browser window and take you to a meeting options page. And on that page, you have these options. First of all, who can bypass the lobby? So the lobby is like a virtual waiting room in Teams. And bypassing the lobby means that people can come straight into the meeting without having to wait to be admitted by the organizer or a presenter. So you can choose to automatically admit everyone, just people in your organization or in trusted organizations, or just people in your organization. The next option is to always let callers bypass the lobby. So this applies to people joining the meeting by phone. And this setting is activated when you change the who can bypass the lobby setting to something other than everyone. It's useful to have this choice here. Say if you are conducting interviews with more than one person and you'd want your caller to wait in the lobby until you were ready for them. But if someone from your team is dialing in to a regular meeting from out on the road, say, then you might want them to just come straight in. The next feature here is the announce when callers join or leave. And this is another setting for callers by phone and it's an on off setting. So if you switch it on, then you'll hear an announcement whenever a caller joins or leaves the meeting. The next feature is who can present. So at the bottom, you'll see this who can present drop down and the default setting is usually everyone. So this is useful if you want to turn everyone in the meeting from a presenter to an attendee. Because remember, presenters can share their screens and also mute and remove participants. So it's useful to stop people being muted or removed that you don't want to. You wanna be in control of who does what. You can drop that menu down and choose the people that you want to present. The choices are everyone, which is the default. That means everybody is a presenter. You can choose people in your organization. So guests will not be able to present in that situation. You can choose specific people. So you can actually name the people from your own organization who you're going to allow to present. And finally, you can choose only me, which makes everyone else in the meeting an attendee. So if you make a change on this page, be sure to choose the save button at the bottom. Then you can return to Teams and the changes will have immediate effect. 
The last tip I've got for you today is attendance reports. This is useful if you want to see when attendees joined and left your meeting. It's disabled by default and will need to be switched on by your administrator. And I'll put the details on how to do that in the description. Once it's been switched on, when you hit the show participants button in your meeting, you should see a downward pointing arrow icon at the top right hand corner of the people pane. At the end of your meeting, you can press this button and you can download a CSV file listing the attendee names with timestamps for when they joined and left. You can only request this report during the meeting. So at the moment, you can't go back in and get it later. The file is then sent to the downloads folder in Teams. And once it's downloaded, you go to the files app on the left hand rail, you choose downloads, and then you can open the CSV file from there. So there are your three tips for hosting good meetings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.